What's up guys? Hybrid Mongus here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. And today we are going to talk about a lot of different things, mainly about Torchic Community Day coming up this weekend. So let's get right into it. As you guys know, this Saturday coming up is Torchic Community Day, and uh, Niantic just posted some more information about that. Actually, the Pokemon Go app posted more information about that, and you guys can see that right here. And it says here on the Pokemon Go app Twitter, it says, Attention trainers evolve Combuskin during Pokemon Go Community Day, or up to one hour afterward to obtain Blaziken that knows Blast Burn. Now, there was a lot of outrage after this because a lot of people were like, hey, where is Blaze Kick? Blaze Kick is the signature move of Blaziken, so to not have Blaze Kick is kind of ridiculous. So we're like, where's Blaze Kick? Come on, man. Come on. Then shortly after that, they actually posted on Twitter again saying, uh, fired up for Pokemon Community Day, kicking in on community day and going forward trainers can use tms to teach their blaziken a powerful fire type move blaze kick so this is actually a pretty big deal this is a pretty big deal <laughs> and the gif here by i play harmonies that's that's like the perfect gif right there i mean literally i was like what so you know all these community days that they're doing not how long has it been since they've actually done a community day where you know we actually get uh to use tms for you know the the special move i think it was the first the first one the first community day ever and then not again since then so this is actually really cool because you know people that actually have better uh blazikins can now use tms to get you know the better special move and it's actually really cool blast burn is only going to be available for up to one hour after community day but blaze kick will be available from here on in as soon as community starts you will be able to get blaze kick on any uh blaziken which is amazing that means if you have a high iv 100 percent you know whatever there you go you have that and it gives you the potential to actually have two uh to actually get both i mean you could get both blast burn and blaze kick if you actually use the the stardust to unlock the second move so it remains to be seen if it's actually going to be good for pvp it might actually be good for pvp and that's maybe why you'd want the second move but let's get into the actual official announcement just to cover everything and this is off of the pokemon go live.com website obviously we know it's torchic three times catch stardust amazing three times three hour lures which we know and then blast blast burn blaziken only so now we know that it's going to be blast burn and like i said everyone was kind of upset everyone was kind of like what is happening why are you not doing blaze kick so i'm actually very happy that blaze kick is going to be you know obtainable by tms um, will I actually go for Blast Burn and Blaze Kick? I don't know yet. We'll have to see exactly how good it is in PvP. But, you know, just to stay ahead of the curve, if you have any good IV, uh, you know, Torchics right now, you might want to hold on to them. You know, are you guys going for both Blast Burn and Blaze Kick? Are you going to actually spend the Stardust to get both charged moves? Um, you know, I think I have a fair amount of charge TM, so I think I'll be okay on the ones that I need. Just a couple tips, you know, for community day, as always, uh, you want to make sure that you have your space open with GoFest uh, like a month away now, which is crazy. You should be practicing this. I've been practicing this a lot more where I'm starting to actively clean out my storage. Uh, I'm trying to get 800, 800 slots right now. I'm easily getting like 500. So <laughs> you want at least three to 500 slots open for this three hour event. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about stopping. Also, you want, you know, two to 300 Pokeballs, two to 300 Great Balls. Ultra Balls are not going to be that big of an issue. Um, having over 100 is good, but you know, if they're shiny, they're not going to run from you anyway. So it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, with the higher catch rate on community days, I usually use Pokeballs anyway. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure you have uh, star pieces, definitely for the three times catch bonus, a star piece the entire time. So you're gonna want six of those. And then you're also gonna want incense. And I can't stress this enough. I say this on every community day tip video that I get, <laughs> that I talk about. You wanna make sure that you have 
as many <laughs> you have all the incense that you could muster you know uh during that time so you need six incense for this event as well if you don't have it get it from the shop because it'll be worth it um you never know i've had amazing luck with pokemon from incense during community day you could get extra shinies you could get that 100 percent iv like i did a couple times so you know you want to make sure you use incense it's highly underrated make sure you use it and then if you care about experience i mean there's not any xp bonuses this community day but you might want to still have six lucky eggs as well so and and obviously lures are not going to be that big of an issue because as soon as you lure something up it's going to be good for three hours so that's also good also just another tip you may not you may not want to start the lures until the event actually starts the reason being is because those half an hour lures can still be running and actually prevent the actual community day spawns from popping during those times so i've seen it a million times this is just more of like a public service announcement don't turn on the lures until community day officially starts <laughs> okay <laughs> and that will be 3 p.m uh 3 p.m to 6 p.m local time um and that is may 19th 2019 so that is just a couple of my tips that i wanted to say for community day um are you going to be actually going for the blaziken blast burn combo uh do you think blaziken is going to be good in pvp what do you think of this blaze blaze kick tm thing should they do this more often i think this is actually a really good move i think this is a really good move by by niantic we definitely need to see this more um being able to tm better moves is definitely going to be better and also what do you guys think the next community day is going to be because it's kind of up in the air i'm really actually hoping for i mean it would be a miracle but i'm really hoping for for lapras i mean i don't think it's ever going to happen but since they took away the lapras field research reward it just it makes me want it even more and some people they did only like a couple of them and they got that shiny lapras and me i have not gotten the shiny lapras yet so it's really <laughs> it's got me to a point where i'm like please make an event or something or bring it bring the field research back i mean come on i really want a shiny lapras and i'm really sad that i didn't get one so far so here we go come on give me shiny give me a shiny give me ah oh. So I got one more chance. That's exactly the same CP as the other one I caught. Last chance. Last chance. Please, please. No. Ah. All right, guys. Round two of the shiny Lapras field research. I'm going to waste a bunch of time and not get a shiny Lapras adventure. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you guys have not already seen on my channel, I have already taken so much time to try to get a shiny lapras um but there are three in my area today none of them are particularly far away but each one of them is a they're not all right by each other so round trips probably gonna take me about an hour to get them all and then head back maybe an hour and a half to swoop up get them all and come back so not fun i told myself i wasn't gonna do this again uh you know as you guys have already seen a couple nights ago i actually did go and uh, try to get a shiny Lapras at night and I had two couple more chances so this will be this will be a total of eight chances so hopefully I get a shiny uh, but yeah let's get moving so I think it was actually stated online that uh, blaze kick will probably be the most you know one of the strongest fire type moves in the game which would make blaziken a glass cannon the move is the move stats have not been released in the game yet but that's what it's seeming like it's seeming like blaziken is going to be a glass cannon so probably not great for raids but it has got me hopeful for pvp you never know what it's going to be it could be great in pvp so it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting. Will Will Blaziken actually be one of the best fire type attackers in PvP? We'll have to find out. Also, I know that this event is coming to an end shortly this Friday. A Detective Pikachu event for Pokemon Go is ending. I do have to say that I will be probably live streaming tomorrow because it will be my last chance to actually get, you know, some more shinies. I have gotten one shiny Apom so far, but that's it. Uh, you know, other than that, I mean, this event has actually been really cool. So I'm looking forward to that. So, uh, you know, pay attention to my Twitter. I'll be posting a time when I'll be starting to live 
live stream tomorrow. I definitely want to live stream this event. Uh, and it, like I said, I think it's going to be one of my last times to actually play. So I definitely want to cover that. So anyway, guys, that is going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one later.